Hey what's going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and today we're doing a follow up on iOS 15.4.1, a small but really important update for iOS users. We have actually been waiting for this update since the release of iOS 15.4 because all of the problems that iOS 15.4 had, especially the battery drain issue. We're going to talk about that in a second here, but there are also other important things we need to talk about regarding iOS 15.4.1. But first of all, we're taking a look at a new feature here on the Maps app. You now get a new feature. This is not exclusive to iOS 15.4.1. You will get this on all the iOS versions as well, so you don't have to update your device for this feature. So, Apple Maps is now incorporating Safety Cloud to improve roadway hazard alerts. That means that drivers that are approaching emergency vehicles, maybe work zones or other hazards, will now receive an alert on Apple Maps, and that of course on roads that are secured by Safety Cloud. This is really, really important, and again, you don't actually need to update your device to iOS 15.4.1 to get this feature. And now let's talk about battery life. This has been affecting a lot of users, and this is what this update aims to fix. Battery drain issues caused by iOS 15.4. So in my case, I didn't have battery drain issues on my device iPhone 12 Pro Max here, I've used iOS 15.4 since the first beta and of course the final release never had battery drain issues, I even got great battery life on iOS 15.4. So I know this is not something that will affect every iOS user, but of course a lot of people have been reporting battery drain issues on iOS 15.4 even on newer devices, especially on the iPhone 13 series. But it seems like iOS 15.4.1 has actually fixed this issue. From the many comments I've seen on Twitter, YouTube and Reddit, it seems like the battery drain issue has been fixed now and it's actually cr pretty good right now on iOS 15.4.1. Now in my experience here using iOS 15.4.1 in these couple of days that it has been released, Battery life has been good, right here you can see I have there with almost 100% battery, I have used the device 7 hours and 18 minutes on the screen and in this time that day I've used it mostly on cellular data, that means that of course it will use more battery but it looks like the battery life is okay. So using the device all day long on cellular data and getting 7 hours and 18 minutes here with a battery that's actually at 92% health is actually quite good. So it looks like the battery life on iOS 15.4.1 is actually good and you can update to this software if you have battery drain issues and if your device is right now on iOS 15.4. A really annoying bug that we have been facing since updating to iOS 15 is the storage bug. Sometimes it seems to be fixed, sometimes it comes back. But it looks like finally Apple has fixed that problem with iOS 15.4.1. So going to general, iPhone storage right here, this would take quite a lot of time to load, sometimes not even load at all. You could see right there how quickly it loaded with iOS 15.4.1. It seems like this has now been fixed. Even though the apps will, roll, will actually load really, really quick, the suggestions right here would take some time to, to load, but of course the important part is the apps right here and the storage that they're taking on the device. And it looks like finally Apple has done it. Finally, they have fixed the storage bug on iOS 15. Hopefully that will stay this way and won't come back with any future updates. Another issue with iOS 15 was a problem when trying to erase all content and settings from your device. So when you do that, your iPhone will actually upload the data to your iCloud when you want to erase everything from the device and from that part on you wouldn't be able to actually just continue the process. And that seems to have been fixed now with iOS 15.4.1. I haven't tried to do that to erase all settings and data on my device but users that have done it before and are trying to do it now are reporting that that has been fixed and of course that's also a really really important fix as well. And let's move on now to performance and we have Geekbench tests here so let's go to the history right here we have the CPU tests so this right here was on iOS 15.4 so you can see single core score 1595 1593 right here with iOS 15.4.1. So just two points down there, nothing big of course. 
and right here on the multi-core score we have 4240 while we have 4184 so a small drop there as well but it's nothing like that will have an impact on the device and of course on the performance of your device so overall performance looks to be really good on ios 15.4.1 again it has been released for like three days now i didn't experience any issues at all with this update the performance seems to be really really smooth and now let's discuss something really interesting and this has to do with auto updates on ios so you probably have auto updates turned on on your device you can see right here if i just go to my device i always have of course auto updates in enabled here even though i never wait for this to work i always do update manually on my device and it looks like that's the best way to go so here we can see a response from craig from apple that he responded to a user on reddit and you can see right here what he said so basically he's asking for the auto update feature not working on ios you can know that because of course if you have the auto update installed you won't get the update just right away you have auto update a new release comes out you will probably get it a week or two or even maybe three weeks after you can see the respond right here so he said we roll out new ios update first by making them available to like users that are seeking those updates through the settings app so first of all the users that go to settings go to software update they are the first ones that will get the update so you go to settings you go right here to software updates you get the update and then of course after these users have updated their device and they receive feedback from those users then they will actually release the auto update to all, to all the other users and that will take you can see a week to four weeks later so if you're just relying on auto updates to update your device they will basically be late a week or even up to four weeks for your device so when there is an important update for your device like ios 15.4.1 is you need to actually go ahead and update manually if you want to install the update right away on your device so again settings general software update that's the best way to go because it looks like you will have to wait at least a week for an auto update to be installed on your device of course ios 15.4.1 will fix a lot of bugs but there are bugs that haven't been fixed as well so if you go to browse right here on the health app and you try to search for something it just doesn't work the health apps search section is broken on ios 15.4 it is on ios 15.4.1 as well and another issue with the alarms just like turning off is still here so the people that had this problem still have it this won't affect every ios user if, if you didn't have this problem on ios 15.4 you won't have it on ios 15.4.4.1 but a lot of people that actually had this problem are reporting back that they still have it and it is still here so that's really really annoying and now let's move on and talk about new releases so we can expect another smaller update to ios 15.4 maybe 15.4.2 to come maybe in the next couple of weeks or so if we have any bugs or things like that that will be discovered or maybe other issues that apple knows they have to fix and that should come maybe any day we actually can predict that but we can predict that apple should release a beta for ios 15.5 we have actually been waiting for that for two weeks now it didn't happen and it's like more than two weeks now since the last time we had a beta release for an ios version so it's very very rare that the apple does that we usually have betas all the time and i would expect apple to actually release a new beta this upcoming week so probably on tuesday we should have a new beta for ios 15.5 even though we are saying that for two weeks now and it didn't happen it should this week probably they have been working on ios 15.4.1 and now it's time for a new beta to come out so you could expect apple to release ios 15.5 beta 1 next week 
and as a conclusion, should you update or not to iOS 15.4.1? Of course you should. This is a really important update, even though there are a few bugs left, you still have to update because it's really important, it will fix the battery drain issue, and of course it has other security updates as well that you need to, in to install on your device. Again, the best way to go is by going to your settings, go to general software update, and make sure you have the update installed on your device and don't wait for the auto update so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave a like if you enjoyed this one and i will see you on the next video